Hello students, our topic is fabrication of transistor, diodes, resistor and capacitor. So what is a fabrication? A fabrication is nothing but implanting all the components, uh, implanting uh, a passive active components uh, over a circuit to form an integrated circuit. Uh, so uh, uh, generally a fabrication of IC involves many steps. Uh, such as uh, uh, it is called as a basic planner process so uh, simple circuit making involves the following four steps so first layer is p type silicon substrate uh, so the second layer is the thin n, n type material and third layer is the silicon dioxide and fourth layer is aluminum layer to make uh, supply uh, necessary interconnections between the components so first one is the uh, fabrication of uh, transistors so a transistor has many types uh, like uh, npn transistor uh, pnp transistor uh, so this are fabricated in the three ways one is the vertical or substrate pnp lateral pnp and triple diffused pnp um, so uh, a transistor has uh, uh, many types. The fabrication process of a transistor is shown in the figure below. Uh, a P-type substrate is first grown and then the collector, emitter and the base regions are diffused on top of it. So the surface terminal for these regions are also provided for interconnections. So uh, next one is the transistor uh, interconnection so both transistors and diodes are fabricated by using the epitaxial planar diffusion process so uh, epitaxial planar diffusion process may be explained in the ic fabrication uh, uh, method so in case of discrete transistors uh, the p type substrate is considered as the collector but this is not possible in monolithic ic as all the transistors connected on one p type substrate would have their collectors connected together. This is why separate collector regions are diffused into the substrate. Next one is the transistor. So even though the separate collector regions are formed, they are not completely isolated from the substrate. For proper functioning of the circuit, it is necessary that the p-type substrate is always kept negative with respect to the transistor collector this is achieved by connecting the substrate to the most negative terminal of the circuit supply the unwanted or parasitic junctions even when the reverse biased can still affect the circuit performance adversarially so uh, a junction le reverse leakage current can cause a serious problem in circuits operating at very low current levels the capacitance of the reverse bias junction may affect the circuit high frequency performance and the junction breakdown voltage imposes limits on the usable level of supply voltage. So all these adverse effects can be reduced to the minimum if highly resistive material is employed for the substrate. If the substrate is very lightly doped then it will behave mostly as an insulator. Next one is the diodes. So uh, construction of a uh, uh, diode. So diode fabrication, diodes find extensive use in integrated circuits, especially in digital applications. So a transistor may be interconnected in five dis different possible connections to make that uh, the diodes to be worked. So uh, um, we may have uh, five types as told earlier, uh, so which may be identified as A, B, C, D and E. Diode A is most useful for getting high speed diode and uh, it is uh, has lower storage time so diode b and d it can be used as a storage charge device uh, diode c and e have the advantage of highest breakdown voltage the choice of the diode depends upon the application and circuit performance so these diodes they are also fabricated by the same diffusion process as the of the transistors the only difference is that only two of the regions are used to form the pn junction while 
um, the collector based junction of the transistor is used as diode anode of the diode is formed during the base diffusion of the transistor and the collector region of the transistor becomes the cathode of the diode for high speed switching emitter based junction is used as a diode next one is the resistor so uh, okay also uh, i have missed out a point in uh, diode a scott key barrier diode may be used so uh, it is uh, called a metal semiconductor diode or scott key barrier diode it has the same uh, bi characteristics of the original pn junction diode uh, but the physical mechanism is very complicated and different so the scott key barrier diode is uh, most widely used diode and uh, it can be diffused as the same for process as that of the diode and it is most widely used hence we study the start key barrier diode very often next one is the fabrication of resistors so a resistor is a monolithic integrated circuit very often obtained by utilizing the uh, bulk resistivity of one of the diffused areas so four different methods of fabricating resistors available one is a diffused resistor epitaxial resistor pinched resistor and a thin film resistor so uh, uh, all these resistors are fabricated by the same process of fabrication um, this resistors all these resistors are given in the respective ohmic value by varying the concentration of the doping impurity and the depth of diffusion the range of resistors values that may be produced by the diffusion process varies from ohms to hundreds of kilo ohm the typical tolerance level however may be no better than plus or minus 5 percentage and may be even has is plus or minus 20 percent on the other hand if all the resistors are diffused at the same time then the tolerance ratio may be good most resistors are formed during the base diffusion of the integrated transistors so this is why because it is the highest resistivity region so another diffusion technique used for the growth of ic resistors uh, are it is a basically thin film technique in this process a metal film is deposited on a glass or sio2 surface the resistance value can be controlled by varying the thickness width and length of the film since uh, diffused resistor can be processed while diffusing transistors uh, this technique is more economic and less time consuming and therefore the most widely used uh, next one is the capacitor uh, so the figure shows the pn region forming the capacitor plates uh, the dielectric of the capacitor is the depletion region between them all the pn junctions have capacitors so that the capacitor may be produced by fabricating junctions the amount of change in the reverse biops varies the value of junction capacitance and also the depletion width the value may be less than as 100 picofarads so using the silicon dioxide as a dielectric it may be a way to fabricate capacitors one plate of the capacitor is formed by diffusing a highly doped end region the other plate is formed by depositing a film of aluminum on the silicon dioxide dielectric for such a capacitor a voltage of any polarity can be used and when comparing a diffused capacitor with such a capacitor the diffused capacitor may have a very small values of breakdown voltage um, so altogether we have seen uh, uh, the fabrication of transistors, uh, diodes, resistor and capacitor. Uh, so transistors are fabricated by the process of planar diffusion. It has a P-type, N-type and P-type, N-type layers. Uh, next one is the diode. Uh, so diodes are also fabricated by the same process as that of the transistors. Uh, so but it has only a P-type, N-type and an aluminium contact. Uh, next one is the resistor resistors we may have four um, different methods one is the diffused resistor epitaxial resistor pinched resistor and thin film resistor so mostly we use thin film resistance uh, resistor for the fabrication uh, next one is the 
capacitors so the capacitor uh, is also uh, uh, one type of fabrication uh, so the capacitor uh, fabrication uh, as uh, is a dielectric uh, so all the pn junctions have capacitance so that the capacitor may be produced by fabricating junctions so the depletion uh, value may be as less than so here the depletion width is as less than as 10 100 picofarads so uh, this is the different uh, this is the fabrication of uh, uh, process of all the uh, diodes uh, uh, resistor capacitor and uh, uh, transistor thank you